To make the drum crusher, a computerized plasma cutter carves out many of the parts from thick steel. The machine both cuts out the profile and makes holes for components. This particular part is a locator plate for the drums. At another station, a worker traces around a template, transferring the outline to partially machined parts below. These parts are the crusher's top and bottom panels. He clamps the supports at the corners, and with the structure now held together with clamps, he tack welds it and follows up with permanent welds. Next up is the back of the crusher chamber. It's been rounded to accommodate the cylindrical steel containers. Again, the worker tack welds it to the crusher structure. He then does full thick welds both from the inside and the outside. And after that, he'll add the locator plate to the base. Turning the door to the other side, he installs horizontal reinforcements. This braces the door to withstand the substantial crushing force. After hinging the door to the chamber, the worker inserts the large latch into a support bracket and tack welds it. A powder coat paint job completes the housing. Workers now assemble the crusher's hydraulic power unit. After bolting a pump motor to the lid, the team flips it over. They insert a hydraulic pump into its housing on the lid's underside. They plumb the pump and attach a suction strainer to filter contaminants from the hydraulic oil. To attach the hydraulic power unit, a crane does the heavy lifting as a worker guides it into place at the back of the crusher chamber. Moving to the top, a member of the team installs the crusher cylinder. He bolts the retaining plate to the chamber. The substantial and hefty crusher head is next. Using a forklift, workers maneuver it into position on the shaft and then secure it with a thick steel pin. The head isn't complete without this pierce point. Fixed to the end of the crusher head, it will puncture the drum to drain residual fluids and release air for better compaction. Now complete, it's time to put this crusher to the test and it easily flattens the steel drum. This flattened drum will be recycled into new steel that can be used to make many things, including more drum crushers.